offered in here. And then I will get the encoders up and running and kick your music. Oh, here we go. That's last week's. No, it's not. Oh, my God. Yes. Tell me you love me. I need a good laugh. I'm holy water. You need She's a good laugh. <laughs> now, how about that? Jackie, are you going to be in the screen or not? No. This time the biatch, <laughs> biatch in the screen. Man, the screen. That's that's biatch gets the last word. You feel me doing? Girl. This is the closest Talking we've been on quarantine. I know. I know. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Happy birthday. Happy what? Happy oh. Birthday. Hump day. I thought Hump she said birthday. I was going to say, wait, whose birthday? Oh, is it your birthday? Not mine. Okay. Is it your no. Birthday? Not it's mine. somebody in my family's birthday. Everybody's birthday is in April. You guys always have a birthday. In April, always, every day. J-Dubs and Rocky. And Nora and Gina. From the podcast Detroit Studio. Go ahead, Jackie. Say, say when it's going to be done. Be sure to Next week. Next week. It's noon time. Somebody three pins. You should have brought a there's a mirror right there behind you guys. <laughs> <laughs> My dog, her dogs are over here. Hi everybody. Hey. Hi everyone. Hey. Where did Jackie go? Did you push her off her chair? <laughs> yeah, I kicked her out. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. What's going on? Happy hump day. Huh? Why can I never find the show? Oh, because it's not on our page, right? Oh my I god. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna sit next to you. Don't sit next to me then. You, like, you can go in another room. No, I was fine <laughs> over there. Here we go. Hi, Rio. Hi, sorry. How, how many Hi, more days? Rio. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Hi. Thanks for having me. Of course. Hi. I love Hi. you, ladies. I oh want to share it. Wait, Rio, it's not isn't it, isn't it comforting relax. to see that in years to come, when your daughter, oh yeah, is a little older, you'll con you'll still continue continue to bicker and fight just like you, twenty four seven. Yeah, <laughs> and you'll have quarantine together and really enjoy it. <laughs> Put it to well, the test. Yeah. As long as yeah. I, I think the other day you had her tied up in the closet, didn't you? <laughs> Don't say that. She lie, doesn't need lie. to. Ha she doesn't need to tie me up. I will stay there, you know, <laughs> on my own. <laughs> well, hey, hey, okay. guys! Did anybody watch the tribute to Prince last night? I did. No. It was so good. Oh my gosh, Sheila E. Oh my god, it was so good. Really, it, it yeah. was very good. It was very good. Yeah, it was yeah. good. I can't believe you missed it, Jackie. Okay. She's too busy on her phone right now to be joining no, but, us. Okay, why is it that I can never find this show to um, <laughs> share it? Why do I go through this every week? Where is, is it, it live right now or is it? It's Dave, are we Facebook live? Right Don't worry about no, it. No, I want to share online. it. Zoom on in. Zoom in. Zoom on in right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm zoomed in, but Dave, are we <laughs> Facebook live? Yes, Jackie, but you need to yes. be on the Podcast Detroit page. Yes, we are Facebook. So did you share it, Gina? I did. Or, you did? I did. <laughs> yes. I managed this. Dear God, thank you that I don't kill this woman sitting next to me. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. So it's on podcast live. Podcast Detroit. Podcast yes. Detroit. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Whoops. Jackie, turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, it's down okay i started rocky, to watch rocky someday on her tombstone we're gonna have a little we're gonna have like a little push button and it's gonna say jackie turn it down yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what i do want to be buried with my phone that's a good idea oh so god. i'll add that to my funeral notes it's my gonna funeral be a checklist be, you know how people always say like husband father all, it's gonna say setting a timer making a list <laughs> i won't turn it down <laughs> like <laughs> anyway speaking of things to do and what's happening um there's a 
And this will tie in with our guest today too. Mm -hmm. There's a really cool event coming up on May 9th. The, um, it's called the Lighthouse Live Virtual Event. And it's a concert all day long, local musicians, um, for they're raising money for the homeless. Mm -hmm. Very so. nice. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Lighthouse is an organization that's been helping the homeless uh, people in Detroit for a very long time, but yep. they obviously have had a surge in the people that they're assisting. So they usually yeah. help about 10,000 people a year. And right now they're helping that many daily. So it's wow. like uh, pretty intense, the, mm -hmm. the jump, uh, you know, it just in people that need assistance. And I, I, we've all seen it on the news, just the mm -hmm. people waiting, the miles of people waiting in line to get assistance yeah. in other food yeah. banks and other areas. So, right. um, so yeah, so they're doing this event, uh, on May 9th, which would be really cool. It's an all day thing. 2 PM to 2 AM. Yep. And, um, so yeah, sort of, it's pretty cool, um, to raise, to raise money and awareness, you know, and donations and all that for the, mm -hmm. to help assist the, the needs. And it's not just homeless. It's right now it's, it's everybody who's out of work and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. So to help, assist the community in Detroit. It's a pretty, pretty cool thing. Yeah. Very, oh, very nice. Good to know. Yeah. To look into. Hey, let's talk about, let's check in with each other. How are we all doing with the quarantine? We're doing. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> How many more days do we think? One of the real oh, This is I'm why I wanted to do this in my bedroom you where I have stayed quarantined. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's stay up there. I'm, I'm going stir crazy, but I, I'm glad to be alive to be stir crazy. So There yeah. we go. When are you guys opening up, uh, Nora? When are you going back? Uh, not till June. We're not chancing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. That's mm -hmm. smart. So, you know, you know, they were talking to... Um, uh, the mayor of Atlanta, and she was saying how she was getting a lot of calls from hairstylists, you know, saying, you know, how are we supposed to, and they're like, oh, take the temperature when your customers come in, and, you know, and it's like stuff that you wouldn't normally do. Yeah. You, yeah, so I don't know how that's going to happen, because, you know, they're supposed to be opening up Friday. Uh, wow. Oh. Are you guys uh, putting anything uh, any new um, policies in place? Or are you going to do? Well, I mean, we're right? we're not having people. We're only having the person that we're servicing in at one time. Mm -hmm. So if they come early, they have to wait in the car, and um, you know, uh, they have to wear a mask. Uh, okay. We looked at some face shields the other day, so I'm thinking. Oh that's yeah, that's really oh, smart. That's okay, smart. that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's just this normal. At, you know, as as any business, but as a hairstylist, you would I would have never if somebody would have just came and said to me, "Oh, you're going to be doing hair um, with people wearing masks, and has and masks and everything," because they're saying after each person throw stuff away, and it's like, wow, that means you have to throw away your cape, you have to throw away the towel. You, you well, yeah, you could wow. wash the towel, but I, I'm just saying, it's if you have like plastic capes or or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, your combs or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, which we sanitize anyway. But of course, not, that's people that aren't hairstylists saying, make, saying this stuff. So they don't even know yeah. what's involved. So, right. You know. Yeah. So your it's cape just, is going to have to be a, stressful, just like everything else. Your cape yeah. is going to be a garbage bag and you cut the hole. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. You know, that's Listen, funny that you said work, that because I, I said the same thing. I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I do that when I do dishes at work. I wear a, I literally made like a, cause I always get like soaked when I do dishes at work uh -huh. and it drives me crazy to walk around with wet clothes. So I do that. And now I've just been like walking out. So people think like, when I'm taking orders out, they're like, okay, this is a little extra. Like she's like, <laughs> in full on, like hazmat yeah, suit. I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Gloves on, on. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that we're, we're laughing, but that's the way the world's going to be now. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah it's crazy yeah, but you know what i was thinking a lot about like 9 11 and yeah. there's been you know obviously a lot of talk on how everything changed after that um but it became a new normal yeah and life went on and that's what it's going to be like now it's well you, you know, know change is hard change is hard we don't we're not but change you know, but change isn't bad. Change no, it's bad. not. I'm not saying it's bad. It's yeah. just it's hard for people to accept. That's just like you have all these people protesting about staying at home, and it's like we're trying to save your life. 
you know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But what about you, Gina? What's going on? Nothing. Good. Just hanging out, you know, just doing Just hanging. Just hanging. You still teaching? Still teaching. Yep. I go to China in the morning and then um, I host a local uh, class at 11 o'clock with some. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So is your husband still drinking? Does the day end in a Y? (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah they were so on they i had a virtual yeah, like, happy hour i crashed their happy john, hour. john jimmy and mike had a virtual happy hour when was it, it on monday it. yeah it was a couple days ago yeah i crashed it yeah. did you I did too. <laughs> I too. So, well yeah. have you you know um i wanted a mancino sandwich yesterday so I had oh been talking gosh. about this since Terry got sick. And then after, as he was getting better, he was like, um, I want to get a Mancino's, you know, when I get better. And I'm like, okay, yay. So I, I go online. I'm like, yeah, they're open. You just have to pick up. And I'm like, oh, I can do this. So I call at about 630 and they close at three. I literally <laughs> cried. <you guys>. <laughs> oh my gosh. They closed at three in the afternoon. Uh, just yeah, on Mondays then. and Tuesdays, they're closing at three. And then the oh, rest wow. of the day. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my and God. Then, you know, they open then. on Sundays. They never were open on Sunday. So, um, they have I amazing was, sandwiches. Oh, my I God. I love their sandwiches. I, I, so, I didn't even, I ate a salad yesterday. So what? I didn't <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah, <laughs> what about you, Brock? I'm busy, man. I, I'm the only person that's not really affected by this. Is we're, you know, essential yeah. workers right now. So it's like, I'm working crazy. So, so yeah. yeah. So I think it's really I'm going to drive up and get a pizza. I want to yeah, drive up and get a pizza. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we'll, Friday, we'll, okay. We're doing curbside pickup. So I'll bring it right up to your car. Mm-hmm. You don't even have to get out, which honestly, like low key, I love this. Like, I love not having customers in the store. I can speak freely and drop as many f-bombs and not worry <laughs> there's a small <laughs> child that's going to be listening to my potty mouth um so that's been nice like not having anyone in the store and what was What'd that you say? i said rio and i will do a road trip together yeah there you go come get a pizza yeah i'm missing my Nora. Yep. yeah yeah there you go and yeah. then you guys can have pizza like in your cars you yeah. know what i mean uh-huh. like socially distant uh-huh. but you can still eat together you know <laughs> don't don't you think it's cool though that seriously you guys are considered essential workers? i always knew i was essential like, I, I was like this is no this is not news to me i i knew like <laughs> no but it wasn't it, it dawned on me one day when i was reading about you know people that are working in the food fast food business that they're considered essential workers and I thought that is really cool like mm-hmm. it totally changed my whole perspective of I always know you know I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. but you know on the, other hand, the best in town of course it's essential but it's the on, on the other it's hand, the only thing in town but it's fine <laughs> you want people to respect the the food workers and the essential yeah. workers and you don't have a lot of that like you know I was in the grocery store right. you know and you have people coming in with no masks Mm. um you yeah. know they they have arrows on the on the rows now have you noticed that i know yeah, in Walmart, I, I saw yeah. that mm-hmm. and you know so people aren't paying attention to that you know it's just it's it's like it's kind of like if i'm not sick it's not affecting me type of yeah thing, right you know? yeah. and that that's the sad part because you know i wish i was hoping that we could all come together and i realize it's only a, a smidgen of people so yeah that's the, mm-hmm. yeah yeah, think, most people are, I think, complying. Yeah. Our mm-hmm. customers have been super grateful just yeah. to everything that we've been doing from curbside pickup to del- like we're offering free delivery right now. So I know our customers have been, mm-hmm. one, just grateful that we're still open, but yeah. because we're taking all these extra precautions to well, keep them safe and keep us me. safe. Your customers love you guys. So yeah, it works. And we've been well, I'll tell you what, yeah. I, we're, we're lucky to have the team we have. Mm-hmm. We really are because we could have we could have closed and we offered to close and our team was like, no, we want to stay open. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, all right. So yeah, we are really yeah, blessed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we got to start strategizing and start planning for a new normal. Um, and, you know, not sit back and hope that this is all going to blow over, but really kind of think about, okay, so how do we pivot and do things different so that you can thrive and not just survive? <laughs> So yeah, one of not, the big it's not gonna blow over until they get a vaccine and then no. you know, well, no, and, no, but I'm even then, 
you never know what could pop up. I mean, this could right. totally right. happen again. And we're right. Yeah. I think there's been a with learning the, experience for everybody, but flu. right. Yeah. Huh? They're saying, they're saying by, you know, winter we'll have both of them, the flu and this. Yeah. You know, Hopefully by then they'll come up with a better system. But, but I'm not even talking and... about just like this particular thing. It's like, yeah. We had 9-11, we, you know, we've had so many things in between. Now this is something else we weren't prepared for. But, you know, to, in terms of keeping your mental health good and pursuing your dreams and not giving up on life, it is all about, okay, pivot, time to pivot. How do you, how do you strategize and how do you execute? And what are you going to do different? What's the new normal going to be like? How can you thrive? Because, you know, the truth is that opportunity comes up is born from a crisis usually in yeah. in mm -hmm. all categories so we have a couple musicians on today so i'm, I'm dying to talk to rio right now um mm -hmm. i don't know if we really need to introduce her but she is an award-winning musician <laughs> right? Aww, thank you and, yes and she's been on our show a couple times now so becoming a regular. We know she's best friends with Gina now. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So, I love everybody you. is Gina's friend now. <laughs> yes. Everybody's <laughs> Gina's friend. Yeah, but you know, again, the power, the power of music. I, I love music. I mean, I think all different genres. Music is just healing. And so Rio, we're gonna open it up and talk to you. Like, how are you handling this? And um, both you and your husband are musicians. You guys yeah. um, work together, live together. Uh, yeah. So what's happening? How, yeah. what, how are you guys handling? Because it's changed a lot for the music industry mm -hmm. in terms of, yeah. you know, no festivals, no concerts, you toured a lot. The, the calendar is just wiped clean. And for yeah. a working musician, you live and die by that calendar, you know. right? your money for, for your livelihood. And so what you said was really spot on. I think pivot. Pivot is, mm -hmm. is the only thing that you can do. It's the only healthy thing and practical thing. Um, for us, for me, this whole thing takes on a little bit of a different tone because I'm one of the people who have um, an autoimmune disorder. So oh, wow. I have no thyroid. I have Graves' disease, so I have no thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is your master control, right? So it controls mm -hmm. almost everything, including your immune system. And I have the exact same thing. Did you? Did you have Graves' disease? No, but I have an autoimmune disease, exact okay. same thing. Okay, mm -hmm. same thing. So you know. And so yep. for me, in times past, my daughter would bring home a cold, and I've gone to the hospital for a week. So no. I, this is kind of kind of like, well, welcome to my world a little bit. It's, I think it's a good eye opener for a lot of people. Um, and so when this whole thing started cropping up, of course, you know, my anxiety was pretty high, <laughs> pretty high. And I'm like, okay, all right, we got to get hold of yourself, hold it down. And um, we have just put things in place here at our house that just make us all feel comfortable. So Sean will go grocery shopping. I haven't been mm -hmm. anywhere except for yep. walks. We go for two mile walks every day and exercise is really important, but we have our protocols. So we go to the <laughs> store and, you know, I know some people don't do this and they think it's overkill and that's okay. For my sanity, we sanitize everything outside. We, before yeah. I you have to, yeah, yeah, for sure. And now it's our new normal. At first it took us forever to do. Now it's like, we've got our system down and we do yeah. it. And, um, yeah, at first, as a musician, the musician in me, I'm not going to lie, it was like, there was a real sense of loss, a real sense of sadness, yeah. like just legit sadness, because right. you're so used to that personal one-on-one, -on -one, in-person connection with your family yeah. when you're playing live, which I just, I live for. And so yeah. there was a real sense of loss, and I'm sure many people can identify with that in many different ways. But... As time has gone, I have, we all as a family made the decision to kind of change our perception and mm -hmm. look for the silver linings. Yeah. That's what we're going to focus on. So turning down social media, turning down Facebook, because that will just drive you insane. You, you know, <laughs> so, you know, monitoring how much time we're on and then really turning towards our family mm -hmm. and working mm -hmm. on music in different ways. So I am 
in the final little tweaks of my new single that's coming out. So I've had a wow. great time to actually finish that. It's called Fire and Brimstone. And I'm Ooh. so proud of it. And it will always remind me of this time. And as a matter of fact, yeah. um, my daughter, Sophia, sings backup on it. Oh and my she, gosh, really? that's so cool. Yeah. And you know, who knows if that would have even come to our minds if we were just, you know, on right. that treadmill of normal life and get right. it in, get this recorded, get it out. And so we've had mm -hmm. all these wonderful moments and as a family and as individuals just learning like how to find the silver linings and things. I don't know. Do you guys do that too? I mean, do you yeah. know, I was really just thinking when you were saying how you were working on your, your, your song and stuff, I was thinking, and I wanted to ask you this question, um, that you would be just cranking out songs because <laughs> you can't do anything else, you know? Right. So have, yeah. Have, yeah. And you know, I thought I would too at first, but at first it took me a little bit to just kind yeah. of move through the psychological feelings of, oh, my, all oh, those gigs that we worked so hard to book are right. gone. Mm -hmm. Right. What does that mean in, turn, in, in processing it and letting that just because then, you know, I think, I think a lot of people probably can relate to just feeling at first anyway, kind of paralyzed just for a little bit of what right. do you mean? Right. What do I yeah. do mm -hmm. now? The sense of loss yeah. of all that. Yeah. And so now though, as this time has gone, we've settled into a routine. I find that turning to music, getting it going is my self-care. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. just my work. It's because it's so intrinsic to me. Um, mm -hmm. It lifts my spirits, music. Can you imagine going through this thing without music? No, no, my gosh, no. <laughs> no. You know? And so as one that makes it, it's doubly important. So yeah, I'm I'm now back in that groove of and I'm 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 kind of getting out of my own way, the the fear of the unknown and the stress. I'm learning how to mm -hmm. really put it in its place, dealing with it healthy, exercising, eating super clean, putting our focus on all the things that we can control. Mm -hmm. That's great. Gosh, yes. That is awesome. awesome. So are you, is that a, is that your home studio? Yeah. That yeah. You're in? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's my, my sacred space. And it's, it's just my place where, where I go and the problems stop at the door. You know, oh, that's wow. awesome. where I give myself the gift. Of nice. And I That's have found great. that the more we do that the, as a family and individually, the less we're stressed, the better you're going to feel, the better it is from your immune system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it may be hard, but looking for those silver linings has been the key for us and doing what we can control. Like my daughter, for instance, the difference in her from the beginning of this quarantine till now mm -hmm. is astounding. Mm -hmm. This was a kid who would eat like five things. Like literally five things. <laughs> she's autism spectrum, so she's very because she can get really funny about foods and stuff. Now the kid, because we're trying to eat healthy, is eating things I never would have imagined. You wow. know, crazy things, wow. lentils wow. and amaranth and all this stuff. And she, <laughs> she's doing all these workouts where she couldn't do it before because she was a preemie, so she's had low muscle tone. So she has just evolved so much. Wow, oh, that's awesome. It's been wonderful in many respects. Great. Do you think? Do you think though that she's trying these foods because you, you as a family, are open to? You've made some changes, so you've pre presented things differently to her than what maybe you normally would have because you yes. have more time. Do you think? Yes. Yes. And and we've always tried. We've always like this is the kind of stuff that I've eaten all the time. I eat really clean. I'm almost a vegetarian. I I could do without mm. for the rest of my life, but I took the time you know, to, we have more time now. So I took the time to explain to her, well, one of the ways that we can keep ourselves healthy is by eating clean. And let me tell you what these foods do for you. Let me show you how this affects your body. Let's mm -hmm. talk about how it, it will make you feel more energetic, more whatever it is. And wow. it, it worked. And so she knows, and now she has a sense of accountability and she's has, she's taking on this new self you know, reliance and self responsibility. So she's like, you know, I haven't had my, she's drinking a half a gallon of water a day. Wow. This guy would maybe drink one glass of water in two days. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. wow. So if this hadn't happened, you would have never had the time to really sit down and explain to her. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Or, or I might have tried, um, right, but it right. wouldn't have been near yeah. as impactful. Yeah. Because yeah. you have the time to stick to it and stuff. Yeah. 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 And I so agree. those are the yeah. things that we have to look to the, the benefits that have come out of this. We have to look right. For the look for the yeah. positive and I yeah. I know from friend, talking to friends or seeing friends on Facebook the the fun things that they're doing the the, the feed and dinners or they're taking time they're teaching someone to sew or to cook the things that they would yeah. normally have not done maybe because sports were in the way or because they were too busy with you know whatever yeah. yeah I think right. that's the benefit, one of the benefits yeah. um it's like a major we, reset button it's like this yeah. Yeah. that I think everybody right. Yeah. Can benefit from. Yeah. Right. Think about it in that way, not to downplay the difficulties no, no, that we all yeah. face. With, yeah. You know, money and keeping a roof over our heads. Right. I mean, you know, right. Downplaying that, but I think it's mandatory. <laughs> we just mm -hmm. got yeah. full and responsibility for our mental health. Right. Yeah. Right. Tell us about the song. Yeah. yeah. So, oh my gosh. So, fire and brimstone. Um. I actually wrote the song two years ago and um, have been just slowly releasing as singles um, leading right. up to an EP release. So Fire and Brimstone, it's big, dramatic, lush. It's, it's very theatrical um, in nature, not like theater, like Broadway, but it's mm -hmm. this very dramatic and cinematic. Um, which I just tend to go for when I'm let loose. It's very different than my work with Rio and the Rockabilly Revival. This is my own solo mm -hmm. stuff. Wow. So it's, it's wow. a world of I, I like how you explain it because you make me feel like I'm feeling it right I'm now. I'm like, how much longer do we have to wait until this comes out? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> four days. Just about four, four days. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. So no yeah. sneak, no sneak uh, t teaser today. I wanted to so bad and I ran out of time to get it together. I'm, I'm so proud of this. I have Brett Lucas playing uh, guitar on it and Rick Beeman on drums. And wow, Rick, that's awesome. oh my gosh, on violin and piano. Oh, wow. We've got so many phenomenal players on this. I, I'm so excited mm -hmm. to share it. I'm so wow. glad. That's awesome. Cool. Lots so what was the inspiration? Like, can you tell us anything about the, the yeah. story behind it? Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of changed um, as it's gone on. But honestly, um, Harvey Weinstein. Mm, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I, the, I was just sitting and watching, uh, you know, the coverage of all of that and um, listening to actresses talk about their experiences. And I'm also an actress. I've done, you right. know, lots of television and TV and mm -hmm. stuff over the years. And I know that feeling. I mm -hmm. know what they were talking about. And every woman on some level has probably entered, you know, interacted with somebody who just didn't respect their boundaries, you know, mm -hmm. ranging from just benign to the abhorrent. Um, and mm -hmm. so I was watching him and I was just so moved by some of the testimony. And then I was moved by just how cavalier he was at first and untouchable. Mm. And so it was like all these little secrets and dirty deeds then, you know, and had him Ooh. on the run all of a sudden. So uh -huh. a lot of it was just born out of um, truth coming to light. So, you know, there's truth will always come to light buried in your book of lies. And Ooh, wow. like, is just, that a lyric? Yeah. yeah. And it, wow. it just from that place of just truth coming to light and speaking for, you know, those who may feel that they didn't have a voice and the fury and the anger and that it's okay to feel uh, the injustice of it. It's okay to be verbal about it. It's okay to express it. Instead of, because I found like a lot of the women at the time were told to, you know, they were either being harassed for speaking up right. yeah. or, you mm -hmm. know, be nice, be a, be a mm -hmm. good girl and, and don't, yeah. you know, don't make waves. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of it had to do with that and my own personal experiences with, with certain people in the music industry. <laughs> so. Oh, that's not me, is it? No, that's not you. <laughs> oh. Who is it? 
Are you there? We're here. Yeah, we're here. Wait, you had a phone. <laughs> it was not me. Uh, sorry, I think that was somebody trying to call oh, in. Oh, good, it was you. <laughs> was somebody on That's Facebook. Okay. That's all right. I was waiting to get yelled at by everybody. No, no. I think it's a messenger. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. Well, this song sounds yeah. uh, like the storyline sounds really cool. Yeah. Can't I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, I cannot Thank wait you. to hear it. I can't it. wait to share it. I'll send you guys a sneak copy. I may have one as soon as tonight. So. Okay. Awesome. So it's going to be released in four days. What's the yeah. date? Actually? Yeah, yeah. Um, I. I'm hoping for three days. Let's see. They sent me. So we're looking at Saturday. Probably. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Sunday at the latest. I'll and where will finishes. people be able to find it? Um, iTunes, um, you know, everywhere that Amazon. All digital platforms right all on. All digital platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Under, cool. under what name? Under what Rio. name? Just Rio. Just Rio. Rio. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Wow. I can't wait. That sounds really yeah, cool. I'm, I'm really excited. All right. What do you, what about like the the future like you know because you did have a full touring schedule and I know you guys toured quite a bit yeah. so are you guys you know strategizing for how you're going to do it different or yeah what, I think we're still you trying have a to game plan that yeah we're trying to really figure that out um it's mm -hmm. it's right now the best that we can do is use some tools that we have like to play. So each of our players will play their part at home, record it, video, and then there's ways that we can then add on. So then make the drums start and then he records his part and videotapes it and then sends it and then the bass lays down the baseline. And the finished product will kind of look like us right here, like all different squares and we'll all oh, be cool. playing together. Um, but you know, it takes, it takes some working out the kinks and making sure that it mm -hmm. that it works right. So right now we're just trying to pivot. We're trying to figure out what the best way is. Mm -hmm. I think people are, I think on the positive side, people are gonna get scrappy and they're gonna return to their real creative roots and you know, right. Yeah. Available in the visual medium, the visual, you know, live performance. It's hard when you have a, a band because you're not quarantined with your band. Yeah. Right. Right. A lot of a lot of musicians who are lucky enough who are soloists or you know singer yeah. songwriters they can play all day and and you know mm -hmm. themselves they they don't need a full band. So ours is a little bit different for both of my projects for Rio and the Rockabilly Revival and my solo stuff because I'm not by myself. Mm -hmm. So we're working on that. We're also working on unique and fun ways of making video for existing songs. Um, I'm a big believer in digging deep and getting scrappy. And I did that with my last video um, for Satan. Yeah. I released. Um, yeah, I didn't wait for anybody. I created everything on my iPhone. Wow. Right. Yeah, it's that's won, amazing. It's won awards. It's gone so far. It's in right. film, you know, festival. So yeah. it can be done. And I think it's kind of exciting um, to think about new ways to reach out and put your stuff out there. Yeah, I love awesome. it. Yeah. I love your enthusiasm on trying to figure out something new and a different way to do it. And, you know, you're excited about it. You're not letting it hold you back. And no, you can't. You're not, you're, you're not playing victim. Yeah. No, you can't. This is real. That would never happen, Jackie. So. What's <laughs> that? I said, this is real. That would never happen. I know. <laughs> I know. I hope others will too. I hope they'll, you know, and, and again, I think tuning out the, the awful negativity and all noise that stuff, yeah that mm -hmm. noise so critical tune in yeah. get in where use this time it's like right when else would we ever have this opportunity right so yeah to, right get yeah. to know ourselves as artists as people as you know just neighbors and friends and community i don't know i that's how we're approaching it over here and it's that's great what what about um disciplining yourself in time management because that's something that i think is really hard if you don't normally work at home or mm -hmm. you know if you're working with other people then all of a sudden you have to come home and you're quarantining how do you yeah. structure and discipline yourself so you, you can stay on a schedule and get things done right well thankfully for me i've always been very structured i i'm one of those people who can just it kind of i thrive on that 
Um, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I've been in charge of this huge seven member band and it's like herding cats most of the time. So, you know, I have to be very, very structured. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not going to lie. This whole quarantine has added this whole other veneer because now I have my daughter and now we're homeschooling. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. um, you know, the only thing that I find works for us is to have an idea, have that list of what you're going to do. Did yeah. you guys hear what she just said? What no, was I that heard again? I turned have a list. Have a list. list of what she said list. A visual list. schedule, if you will. <laughs> list. List. I thought she said yeah. list. Don't list. worry, you'll all be getting one via text, email, <laughs> uh, Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, Twitter. No, because I don't know right. how to use those platforms. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and I have her blocked on all of them to I know. ensure that that won't happen. Thank you, <laughs> That's all right. Have that list, check it off as you go, and really get involved in it, and make it be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up at this time, and I'm going to whatever it is first have breakfast make your you know you know sustenance or move your body for 10 minutes just get you know get on i have a list i i do that in my head i don't write yeah. it down <laughs> well you know what i used to do that but i find that it's less stressful if you write it down so you're not carrying it all right up here but it, if it works for you awesome yeah it, yeah, it works for me yeah, yeah. <laughs> just be accountable just be accountable to yourself and right. so you'll get into the schedule. If you say, like, I, I tell my family, oh, what time is it? Oh, it's two o'clock. You know what that means? Get your shoes on. We're going for a walk and we're doing body weight exercises. I mean, wow. I'm the one that keeps it all in, in line. That's but awesome. It becomes a habit. Yeah. Our list happens. does not have anything about working out. It has a I was just going to say, your you list. your daughter <laughs> ate, will drink a half gallon of water. I've eaten a half a pack of Oreos a yeah. day. So I've been crushing <laughs> it on the Oreo game. So don't worry. Well, and you know what's funny is we don't normally have a lot of snacks in our house because we've all really been on a mission to yep. clean. This is before like, quarantine. Mm -hmm. Before and quarantine. Now. now Every time somebody goes to the store, they come back with a pack of Oreos. And here's what we do. <laughs> we, we all think we're out doing each other. So it stays in the pantry and it's open. And everybody, you'll see people walk by, sneak a couple, <laughs> eat them, and go. And then, and it stays until it's empty. It stays right in there. It never comes out. It's never on the table because everybody's someone too has embarrassed. To, well, and someone has like the empty thing of Oreos will stay in there, yeah. and we just keep checking it to see if it's been refilled magically. And then it's like no. Yeah, right. And then somehow it just gets replaced. So yeah. until and nobody the new owns Oreo, it. Yeah. None of us own it. <laughs> Do the Oreo elves come nightly, weekly? Well, how often do they come? Exactly. Almost daily at yes. this point, you know? <laughs> so, and that's the thing too. We have a million people in our house. I was like, is this even legal that we're all here? Like they're saying like, <laughs> there's like a limit on how many people you're supposed to be. We've like 30 people here. It's like at all oh, times. Limit. Yeah, they're like saying you get like groups you of 10 are going or to jail. You're going to yeah, jail. Yeah, that's what I said. So Everybody's we're, gotta we go. all work together. <laughs> I'm gonna be sleeping out in the back party over here <laughs> in my in the my little fort I made when I was eight. But yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll take the fort. <laughs> um, well, I'm excited to hear about the music moving yes. forward, and Thank I can't you. wait. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be sharing it on days. the Nuno yes. page. And, um, are uh, you gonna do a video again? Are you gonna do a video? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do a video. I'm just recovered from the last one. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> No but I, I directed, edited the whole thing myself. Wow. Um, and my eyesight will never be the same. I'm <laughs> doing it on my iPhone. Um, but now I've got better equipment. And um, so I'm starting to get visuals together in my head and a story. But it's, it's, it'll be a challenge. It'll be a challenge to produce something that is fitting to the, the hugeness of this song. Wow. So, but I'm up for the challenge. I got nothing but time. <laughs> yeah. right. um, so how did you get Sophia involved? Oh my gosh. So look, any, we are not those parents. I'm just going to say it right now. We are not those parents that, oh, you're in bed by eight o'clock. I know some of my friends that they're like, what? My kids are in bed by eight thirty. You're those parents where Sophia is in her room making art at 1 a.m. 
and singing her <laughs> stuff in her room. And we're in here next door in the next room recording. And she'll come in and we'll, we'll hear her walking through the house singing the parts to the song, to, to my wow. song. So here, oh my. she just came in. She's like, hey guys, what's up? She'll just like, what's up? <laughs> and uh, I'm like, hey, I'm recording this. Do you want to do you want to record a, a backing part? She's like, sure. And so wow. we, we set her up and she Aww. was just, she was on it. She's so good at, she was, oh, how cool. picks it up. That is so cool. Oh my God. So it, it just was really special to me because it's the first so she's, time. She's, she's caught the bug from mom and dad then for sure. Yeah, the she is, the she creativity, is. the music bug. And <laughs> that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. How she, old is she? She's 10. So she's she kind of, does she realize that she's like has she asked for royalties yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> her lawyer will contact yeah, you. Her lawyer Don't will worry. contact you. Because <laughs> one time we were at a show and she warmed up the crowd. We were I don't know in Ohio oh, wow. or somewhere. She grabs the mic and she's like, "We're setting up the stage," and she's singing her own song. And it came time for us to go on. I'm like, okay. You need to introduce us now, you know. She's like, I don't want to. <laughs> like, I'm on a roll. And I'm like, what? And she's singing some heavy metal song into this mic. Oh, oh my gosh. That's that amazing. Amazing. I was like, and she's like, fine. And she's like, okay, fine. Everybody here's Rio in the rockabilly. <laughs> and afterwards, I got her on I got her on video saying, next time you're gonna pay me. Oh, for warming up. Oh, I feel like that is one hundred percent some shit John Paul would have done. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know what, girl? All right. Um, you know what? That's she a new. That's like a new way of allowance. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you, exactly. you, you know, whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, you want to do that? Okay, but yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a way to teach her of you know. I want her to know her worth. <laughs> I want her to feel yeah, what great. I'm asking for, but it just took us by surprise. Like she had never. <laughs> Like well, even even the own. even the idea of having her get in front of a crowd like that. Yeah, how many kids would own. do that? Yeah, yeah, and especially being autism spectrum, there was a time where she couldn't be around loud noises. Yeah, um, wow. she performed with us on stage. She is wow. actually wow, that, that is so cool. That is so cool. But she, it doesn't bother her at all, and it's it's like old hat because she's she was born into it. So we were doing wow. this since she was born. So. Real, I kind of like, like you, really. Yeah, she's she's really, really kind of following that trajectory. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's she, awesome. Did she just recently record this this music? Did this yes. just happen within the last week or so? Yes. Makes wow. sense. So I see I see Sophia every day. Sophia's part of my my uh, my group. And so I meet Aww. with her every day. So I get to see Sophia. So I've gotten to know Sophia on a personal level. And Aww. she recently made her, now it is all, it's all coming together. She made a, she said something about a song and I'm like, oh, do you want to sing it with us or sing it to us? And she said, yeah, she would. But then she didn't. I mean, you know, she said out oh, tomorrow or the other day. I don't remember the exact. <laughs> now it's all starting to make sense how it comes. Yeah. yeah because she's going to be like, are you paying? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I accept Venmo. Yeah. I pay <laughs> <Yeah>. couches. <laughs> no checks, cash only. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my God, that's her. That's totally her. Yeah, she's she gets embarrassed. She's like she's at the stage now. She's at that tween stage where we are just like we uncool. Like when she talks to Eugenia, she's like, "Mom, she does." She goes, <laughs> "Don't." <laughs> yeah, that's a fun stage. Oh boy. Does. Well, no. Then you get to the stage where your parents are like too cool to hang out with you. Yeah. So it's like, you know, like, yeah, my parents are mm -hmm. like, um, we're hanging out with our friends. Can you please leave? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be like, yeah, her teachers boring, will ask boring, her because she went on tour with us and she went overseas and she's, she's had all these great experiences wow. through, through wow. and she'll, but like her teacher will say the, the assignment might be where, you know, give us a fun fact about yourself. Where have you traveled? And so, and she'll say, my favorite place was Ohio, you know, and she, she <laughs> Oh, remember you loved yeah. London and yeah, you're <laughs> she's like whatever. 
<laughs> whatever. <laughs> but oh she's my gosh, so I will speak on her behalf. She she's a talented artist. She's yeah. very she loves to draw. So yeah, she's she's amazing. She's actually sold her prints. Um, okay, really on the, yeah, there was a time where she was playing a game online and she accidentally bought five hundred and fifty dollars worth of gold coins for a game. She thought she didn't realize that it was real money and it was attached to Sean's account somehow. She was using the iPad and it was all like oh. a family thing. Sean oh checks God. the checks the bank account five hundred fifty dollars oh to iTunes, and we're like, what? And it was an accident. And so she made this little video. I'll send you guys the link. It's hilarious. She made this little video saying, I made a mistake. And it was, I didn't know it was real money. I'm going to make drawings and sell them for $5 each and try to pay my parents back. Aw, that, that is so cute. That's brilliant. Yeah. Oh my God. That's resourceful. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And she, and she did. And she did. She, people bought them from all over. This was like, just about a year, wow. ago, a year and a half ago. Yeah, but she's she's so talented. She's like, I don't know where oh she my, gets it. Oh my gosh, I can't that, is, that awesome. is amazing. She's wow. very talented. And so in our class, when we meet together, there's usually three or four kids. And so sometimes we do, we do different activities. And one of them that we've done in the past couple of weeks is we've done some drawing. And so I originally did some, some drawing with the kids, showing them and as a, as a classroom teacher, I often did drawing. Well, then they would always interpret their way and show. So then the kids all took a, took a time to show us how to draw something. So she's a very oh, cool. Wow. She I'll loves, tell you what. loves me so much. <laughs> I, I love the fact that she figured out how to get that money back yeah. on her own. So it goes to show you mm -hmm. that if there's a crisis, as she gets older, she will know how to pivot. Yeah. Yes. Good for her. Yes. Yeah. Good for you guys. Yeah. We that's amazing. Her, we're like, and all we did was say, you know, well, you know, do you have any ideas on how we could maybe fix the solution, you know, or fix the problem? Do you, do you have any suggestions? And she came up with that and wow. made all kinds of characters wow. were incredible. They were just incredible. Wow. That's handled a little differently than I, how I would have handled it. Right? We would have been stabbed. And no one would have ever seen it again. And that's, you guys are giving us double the money. Yeah, they're trusting. Exactly, yeah. Start cleaning. That list done. Yeah. <laughs> it's never happened again. Still be working on that list 20 years later. So. Right. Right. Oh. Were you able to contact iTunes and get part of that refunded or did they? Yes, they did put, they did refund, uh, I, I can't remember, like 25% of it or, or like 30%. We oh, were man. happy with that. Yeah. Um, because it was showing up under Sean's account. They were like, well, we don't, did yeah. you do this or did your daughter? Yeah. So they were cool enough to refund part of it. But that's never happened again. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's like anything without coming to us first. So. Yeah. Now she's playing poker. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm she's got it. extra I got from those drawings. She's, she told <laughs> you she was selling them for $5. She's been selling them for 500 and... <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. She'll be up right. there. She'll, she'll wake up and she'll be posting to her YouTube account. I'm like, what do you mean you have a YouTube account? What are you talking about? <laughs> Gosh, you, I'm telling you, like, they are born knowing how yes. to work this technology. Yes, they are. Crazy. Yep. Yeah. I gotta watch that girl. I'm like, <laughs> eyes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. That is great. <laughs> well, what about you, Nora? What's going on? I wish I had something going on, Jackie. Nothing's going on. I, I'm washing rugs and blankets and stuff today. I, I ordered a shelf from uh, Amazon and it came and so I'm putting stuff in the pantry and all kinds so I'm cleaning. That's that's a good time for I that. Wanna do some hair. I want to do some hair. You don't think about how much you miss something. Like I, I remember like just some months ago, I'm like, oh, I got to go to work, <laughs> you know, and then yeah. you're like, oh, I got a late client. <laughs> and now it's like, I, I just want a client. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did have a client send me some money on Cash App just because she was like, Aww. 
Oh, that's that really nice. cool. That is really cool. That was nice. Hi. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, who's here? What? Hi. Hi, Sophia. Hi. <laughs> Can't wait to hear your new song. You're talking about fire and brimstone. Yeah, and how great you were. Yeah, but uh, 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 what other parts are you talking about? The ba all the backing parts, <laughs> all the backgrounds. You want to close that door? Yeah. <laughs> you just She's saying, I, I really heard some other that. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wondered what you were talking about. Yeah, about you and how. <laughs> You're hey. a superstar. You are. We finally get to meet you. Hello. Oh, are look who's here. here. Look who's here. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Tina. Are you surprised to see me? No, not really. Oh. I, told her. I told her. She's like, you're all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. She's like, here, I thought I'd get a break from her today. <laughs> Do you guys meet every day, Gina? Do you have that every day? Or, oh, every, day. every day. Every day at 11. And what time are you do you teach in china now is it still at night or is it uh morning and night well yeah i do a few i do in the morning i start at 7 30 in the morning and i teach okay. two in the morning and then on occasion i do one in the e one or two in the evening typically on the weekends so it's like friday night or saturday night because it's their their morning so okay so mm -hmm. when i'm teaching in the morning it's their night and then i meet with the kids at 11. Hello. That's awesome. Oh, wow. That is so cool. So cool. Yeah, that yeah. is. It's fun. It's fun. Anyway, it gives you know what it gives. That's my structure for my day is that I get up, um, and I you know I teach so that you know I get up, I get dressed, I get showered, you know I put myself together. I I teach it the time. pearls. Yep, got the pearls. Always, always yeah. the pearls. <laughs> I know. Look at Nora and her pearls. I'm getting pearls for next week. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> and so that's no. I mean, I'm taking your pearls. <laughs> I don't know which pearls you're looking for. <laughs> um, so that's, huh? that's the structure for my day, you know. And then I then I go about doing whatever. Just so happens, no one's home right now, so it's quiet. Lucky you. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had a quiet moment at home since this started. Dad's well, been working from home. To my world. I, well, that's, <laughs> when this all started, my poor dad was like, he's like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this. And I was like, oh, no, 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 dad. That is not how <laughs> things work around here. I was like, you keep your head down. You make zero eye contact. <laughs> One, if she asks you any questions, the answer is okay. Doesn't matter what the question is. And that's how things go around here. It's like, there will be none of whatever you're thinking over there. So yeah. And so how this goes. Yeah. And so three days ago, those, those three. Yeah. Had a, had a cocktail party out a, outside. Yep. Yeah. A virtual cocktail party. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking yep. about doing that. I want to have a little. We should send the three of them to live together in quarantine. You know, like we'll swap John for Gina, and <laughs> oh, they'd have so much fun. They they would have fun. They never they would never come back. You no. never hear from them. You never hear from no. them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They'd never come back. Is that such a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, so Terry, you know Terry went back to work Monday. Yeah, so, he awesome. Oh, he's at work now. Um, he came in yesterday upset because he got gas and he didn't remember how much the gas. Well, he well he gets premium, and the lady was supposed to give him money back, and he had to stand outside. You know how cold it was, and oh he gosh. was just yeah. The guard that takes over for him was late, so he was just like beside himself when he got home. So. I'm hoping uh, that his day today will be much better. But so far he's was, doing good. Was yesterday <laughs> his first Monday. Was yesterday his first day back? Monday was the first day. Oh, Monday wow. was his first day back. So they're supplying wow. masks and you know cleaning stuff. So Oh, that's awesome. And he works by himself though, right? Usually well, on a ship. Well, yeah, yeah. He works, he's like a, a guard receptionist. He works the front desk. Right. And then he has to do like walkthroughs and stuff like that. But the place yeah. where he works, most of the people are working from home. So not really. Right. Me. Oh, that's good. He's not exposed. Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies, All right. what's the plan for the rest of the day? Jackie, I'm going to work. 
You're going so, to Becky. What's yep. on your list? I'm actually. Are, are you are you saying that to to just stick? Dig, you're putting a dig in me or something because you're going to work. <laughs> you can come work with us. <laughs> we need the help. So <laughs> I'm actually going to pick up orders for them today. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing some running around. Um, now listen, next week, guys. Next week. What time is it anyway? It's one o'clock. Is it one o'clock? Yeah. Oh. And I gotta get going to work. All right. So, so uh, well, a couple things real quick. Rio, thank you so much for yes. joining you, us today. Thank and we're looking forward to Saturday and yep. your release. And we will promote it. Yep. Um, thank and you. All the best. And we've got a we'll fortune check in with you in a couple months and see how everything's going. Yes. Um, hold on before the fortune cookie, Gina. I hope it's better than last week's, by the way. Me too. Um, <laughs> I got a bag full. Next week. <laughs> next week. Listen, next week, we have award-winning author Denise Brennan Nelson on, who's joining us. Yay, and she's going to talk about how to get started on writing that book during awesome. quarantine. If you had a right. book you want to work on, she's going to talk about it. So she's going to give us some steps. And so that's going to be a fun show. All right. I want to write a book about sex during quarantine. <laughs> that's right. Quarantine. That's what you we mean, have it. So. You mean the lack of. <laughs> right? Come on, the lack of. All right. Go oh, ahead, Gina. Tumbleweeds. <laughs> the fortune for this week is be assertive and you will win. Oh, I like okay. that. Yeah. Assertive, not aggressive, Jackie. I like it. I like that better. I like it. Be assertive. Not oh. aggressive. Thank you, Gina. I'm so scared. She's gone. <laughs> Don't kill her. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Love you guys. Yeah, love you guys. Thank you, Thank Rio. You, buddy. And remember, sometimes your only mode of transportation available is a leap of faith. Thanks for taking the leap of faith. faith. Thanks for everybody who tuned in. I'm sure Mark and George and those guys did. So hi guys. And hi, hello to everybody guys. who's watching. We'll see yep, you next we week. We got quite a few. Chris Long, Bye. Jess, Bob, Paul. Oh, oh we got quite a few people. Hi, everybody. hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Jay. Hi, Sandy. All right, guys. See you next week. We'll see you next Bye. week. We got silver lining. Yes. Right. Thanks, Rio. Bye, guys. Thanks, Rio. Bye. Bye. Bye.